Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev, and this is going to be another Click View video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at set versus let. So we can assign values in the script to variables using either set or let. But what is the difference? So set stores what is passed to the variable and let evaluates what is passed to the variable and stores the result. So we're going to go over to click view and go through an example and we'll be able to see the difference between the two. We're in click view now and I've opened up the script window. So we're going to set a, a value. So we're going to write set uh, and we're going to call our variable vset. And we're going to set that. We're just initially going to set it as a string. So we'll just say this is a set variable. Okay, and then we're going to do the same with let. So we're going to say let v let equals this is a let variable. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and reload this now. So we're not loading uh, anything else in the script, so nothing will show on our screen. But what we're going to add is just a couple of text boxes, and I'll just set this to be the value of our variables. So we'll set a, a value of vset, and I'll just change the background color of this so we can see it a bit more clearly. Uh, so if I set that to a light blue and we'll change the font color to a nice white so that stands out as well and we'll put the text a bit bigger okay so I'll go ahead and create a copy of that now just for simplicity we'll change the value to equals a uh, our let variable and we'll change the background color to uh, yeah uh, a sort of transparency ready pink color so we can see when we've assigned strings to our, our variable values there's there's no difference there whatsoever the real difference comes in is when we assign expressions to variables, which is what we're going to go on to now. So I'm going to go back to the script and I'm going to change the values of them. And for simplicity, I'm just going to say 2 plus 2. So I'll change both variables to be exactly the same. Remember, we're, using with, we're working with vset and vlet. So I'll go ahead and reload that script now. So that has been executed. So we'll just change this so it shows our syntax. So we know that is V set. So our V set, we've assigned the value of two plus two. So when we set the value of a variable using the set statement, it's not going to interpret the contents. But when we use let, which is the pink, light, red uh, color here, it has interpreted the contents. Uh, effectively, it's interpreted the expression and has stored the result. So two plus two is four. Now, how we'd get them to return the same value is with dollar sign expansion. Now, a common issue that arises is if we simply said plus one. So if I apply that to the vset value, I will get no results returned. But if then I applied the same logic to the vlet value, then I will get the value as expected of 5. What we would have to do when setting variables is interpret the content. So we have to use dollar sign expansion. So that tells ClickView to interpret the contents of that variable. So calculate the expression and then add one to it. And we will see as soon as I click on apply here, we'll get the correct value of five. I've gone back to the script now and we're just gonna have another look at how we can interpret the contents of variables. We can see what value is actually being assigned. 
So if I actually open up the debug window, that's going to run through my query step by step. Um, so I've got a few options here. I'm just going to step through it and we can see the value down here. Vset has been assigned the value of 2 plus 2. It's now going to execute or interpret the next line. So if I click step again, the value of vlet has been assigned as 4. So as we can tell from that, as discussed in the introduction, let will take the expression, interpret its contents, and then store that result within the expression, whereas set will just store what is passed to the variable. Really hope you have enjoyed that video. If you are using ClickView or other BI tools such as Power BI or Tableau, do let me know. Let me know what areas you're working with if you'd like me to do videos on any specifics. Uh, also, check out the other videos on the channel. If you're new to ClickView, I do have an introduction video and we'll be uploading more ClickView videos shortly with a view to be uploading some ClickSense videos towards the beginning of next year. If you haven't already subscribed, please do and hit that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded. Thanks a lot for watching.